The trailer is the main product produced so it sets the tone for the ancillary text. I found in my trailer that I focused on colour washing the raw foot with blue and purple hues. This is similar to real media products such as The Butterfly Effect in 2004 by Eric Bress and Jay McKay Gruber, Jonathan Demme's Silence of the Lambs from 1991 and David Finch's Zodiac from 2007. I combine this with the poster which also incorporates the same colour wash that it is clear that they are part of a cross media package. This is supported using the same typography on the poster and trailer whilst adding a caption quoting the article from the magazine. I included the billing block and release date in a caption card in the trailer which links with the poster. This shows the effective combination of my main product and ancillary text. The trailer uses muted colours through the mise-en-scene which is consistent with the poster whilst the magazine stands out in contrast. This shows consistency of representing the psychological thriller genre through blue and red tones. This is a recognisable trait across all three products through the editing of the trailer and the consistent reference to the narrative. In the poster the narrative is shown through the rural setting and costume whilst the magazine uses integrated text taken directly from the screenplay to reveal narrative. In industry, posters are manufactured alongside the trailer and created by the institution. Unlike the trailer, posters are very limited in what they can display and must display a billing block. When looking at my poster, it is clear to see that it follows the house styles showcased in the trailer, using similar blue tones and the same typography. The poster features a review at the top of the page where a quote is taken from the magazine article, linking the magazine and the poster, informing audiences that this is part of a cross-media package and that it effectively works as a combination of main product with ancillary text. The central image is a still from the first Hyperlapse series shown in the trailer, a long shot, reinforcing the effective combination of the main product and ancillary text are part of a cross-media package. The central image uses the similar lighting technique shown across the whole body of the trailer, using natural lighting to light up the scene. Using the same style of lighting consistently shows the effective combination between the main product and the poster. However, I feel that the poster could be improved to show that it's part of this cross-media package. This includes the representation of the protagonist on the poster. I've selected the frame where the character is facing away from the camera, a technique often used in horror films, where the antagonist is glorified by being the only character shown on the poster. I selected this frame from the hyperlapse to show the duality of the main character, showing that they are both the protagonist and antagonist. However, this can be confusing to audiences who might expect the protagonist to be traditionally heroic. This is evident in David Finch's 1999 Fight Club, where the antagonist and protagonist are displayed facing towards the camera in the poster, alluding to the audience that they're the positive characters. I contend making the editorial decision to choose this image as it's effective at connoting the hybridity of the genre, but I feel it doesn't represent what audiences are expecting to see from a poster which could hinder the effective combination of the main product and ancillary text. The magazine in many respects is a separate product and often looks different to the products constructed by the institution. Ergo, it is hard to tell how effective the magazine combines with my main product. The institution will have little to no contribution to the magazine other than sending over copies of the film for the magazine to review inside. This means that the magazine will have its own house style and will act as a standalone product which goes alongside the trailer and poster. This is similar to two cross media packages I textually analysed previously where both magazine front covers had a different aesthetic than the poster and trailer. I feel this is most apparent in Donnie Darko where the trailer and poster focused on the blue colour washing whilst Empire magazine followed their house style using the tri-colour scheme black, red, gold. I feel like I wanted to construct a similar scenario in creating my magazine and chose to use the tri-colour scheme white, red, black, another popular colour scheme. I felt that this effectively combined with the post where I chose the frame where Emma is facing away from the camera, connoting she has antagonistic traits by taking a medium close-up with Emma wearing the black eyeliner and red lipstick shown in the over the shoulder shot at the end of the trailer. This reinforces the idea that the magazine is part of a cross media package even though it is created by a separate entity, Little White Lies. I feel that the integrated text reflects the narrative as it is taken dialogue directly from the script and included dialogue that would have been revealed in the rest of the film. This shows narrative consistency across all three products. It is important to know that in the trailer the main focus is the protagonist Emma Hader who is showcased in both the poster and is on the front cover of the magazine. 
which shows the effective method of showing consistency of the main product and ancillary text. In many ways, my magazine is not as effective at showing it as part of a cross-media package as it uses a graphic instead of a traditional image. This follows the conventions Little White Lies uses, however it doesn't fit in with the realism showcased in the trailer. This is predominantly shown through the harsh, high-key lighting displayed in the magazine, compared to the ambient lighting used in the trailer and magazine. The magazine uses Korean new typography and the title is integrated into the text in the background layer, which is different to the typography used for the title in the trailer and poster. I feel that this is understandable and is very common with magazines as they are made by separate entities in the industry and that audiences would still understand that ancillary texts are part of a cross-media package with the trailer. 